Floods from Ada also forced students to go back to online learning in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Tonight, both districts are working to get all buildings back open when students return to class after the Veterans Day holiday. The storm left many schools with no power, air conditioning, or internet connection. CBS 4's Joe Murray joins us live from Tamarack with more. Joe? Well, Elliot, of course, all the schools were closed on Monday, but today the decision was made to reopen most schools. However, there were about 40 schools that remained shut. Now, of the open schools, we've heard reports of computer trouble, air conditioning trouble, internet trouble, and that has led the Broward Teachers Union to wonder whether this was the smartest decision. It seems that 2020 continues to bring us surprises every single week, it seems. The surprise now flooding and the impact it had on dozens of South Florida schools Tuesday. With high water around many campuses limiting access, Miami-Dade had to close 17 schools and switch to online learning for students. They are mainly located in the northern area of the county. Uh, Miami Gardens, Miami Lakes, the Carroll City area. Uh, we did have some isolated uh, uh, examples of uh, cases of flooding in the in the Liberty City area, but nothing compared to Carroll City, Miami Lakes, and Miami Gardens. In Broward County, 23 schools were closed, and those students transitioned to online learning. But in both counties, some schools open had problems. Computer problems, internet problems, Teams problems, air conditioning problems, uh, power problems, uh, all of the above spread out through bits and pieces of the district. Broward Teachers Union President Anna Fusco said the district could have done a better job planning. Well, I feel that should have kept people home, and the e learning is a, a platform that is working. Decently, it's not 100% foolproof. It is not our first go for education. But when we have over 87% of our students that have chosen to stay home and do e learning, that it would have worked out. Now, we did hear from the Broward School District that some schools actually had some water damage inside. Now, tomorrow, as you pointed out, Elliot, there is a holiday, so the districts both have time to get things more in order, but probably Thursday some schools will remain shut. In Tamarack tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.